Alright guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and we are back with another Secret Life of Pets tutorial. Now, I've been seeing multiple requests on Snowball's tutorial on how to draw Gidget from the Secret Life of Pets. So we're going to go ahead and draw Gidget. Gidget is fairly easy just because she's like this giant me like mess of ball of fur. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make like this balloon shape and I'm going to jump off to the side from the bottom of this balloon shape. Bring this up and into the balloon shape. And then from back behind here, bring this down. So she's fairly simple just because she's made up of like a bunch of circles. Kind of looks like a heart. All right. So what we're going to do first to place her her whole entire face, it needs to be close together and way up on top. I'm going to go ahead and make a circle guideline. So I want to make sure that all her facial features stay in here. So that means I'm going to make my eye guideline right here. And we want to make sure she has enough enough of like, I don't want to say forehead area, <laughs> but anyway, so this is where her eye line is going to be, so that means I'm going to go ahead and place one circle right here, so it's fairly close to this side, so one big round circle, and then I'm going to just kind of come over off to the side and make another big round circle. So if we get rid of some guidelines. Since we're seeing more of this side of this face of Gidget, that means that we're not going to see as much on this side because her nose ridge is kind of cutting off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off to this side, bring it down, go up, and then go ahead and bring it down around, then bring this down. Then I'm going to jump right on top. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give her her little nose. And it's in the shape of a seed. Let's go ahead and shape up her eyes just a little bit more. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring this down back to where it's behind her nose. But we want to make sure that it's still, it's just not a circle and actually looks like an eyeball. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this side. See the nose ridge. And then let's jump over to this one. A little bit more rounder at the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump inside this eye. Get one circle here and then jump over here and make another circle towards the middle of this eye circle here and a circle here. So what I'm going to do to this eye is I'm going to make the top of the eyes a little bit more darker. So the top of the eyes are darker so what I'm going to do is I'm just, she doesn't have that big of eyelashes. She has itty bitty little eyelashes around the sides. Jump over here, give a little bit of little itty bitty eyelashes on this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump inside her pupil iris shine here and shine here. Give her the pupil. And she has bright blue eyes so I'm going to just color these in. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump back over to her nose. I'm going to leave a little bit of space on top and color that in, but leave like a shine on the top of her nose. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump back to her snout. Bring this in. Curve it upwards like a smile. Give her a little bit of a dimple. And then I'm going to jump down below. I'm going to clear up this guideline 
going to jump up on top of her head and make one little itty bitty pointy triangle. Then I'm going to jump over here and make another little itty bitty triangle. Now I'm going to jump inside those triangles and make another triangle, but filling in the second triangle. Jump over here, another one. And then in the middle of her head, of course, I'm going to make a circle first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and jump on top and curve upward, above the circle, curve around and down. Curve around and down, and then we'll shape these bows just a little bit more. So I'm going to bring this in, go upward, and then I'm going to make a little triangle shape like this just to show like it's a fold of the bow. And if I color this inside here, you can see it's a bow. Again. Shade this side and shade this side. There we go, there's her little bow on top of her head. Now for Gidget's feet. Let's go ahead and start with the two front legs first since we see those the most. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an oval from here and then I'm going to jump back here and make a slightly larger oval. Now what I want to do on the back back oval is I'm going to go ahead, go up and then down and then back into that oval. If I separate her toes like this. And then I'm going to jump up to the side right here and just give a little bit of shape to like a rectangle almost. Go up and over. And then we have one little paw back here. Here's the paw, and then we're gonna jump to the front. Make it more like a triangle shape than an oval. Circle upwards. Circle inwards. Give a little bit of toes. And then we're gonna jump off to the side right here. Once again, bring down. Leg. Uh -huh. And separate the toes once again. So let's jump up to Gidget's tail. And what I want to do is I'm just going to go back behind here and I want to make sure that her back goes out, curves inward just a bit, and goes into her leg. So it actually looks like the back of a dog. And then I'm going to go up, curve like this, and then make sure this is curved from the side over here. And we're just going to leave that like this. I'm going to separate these two guidelines from each other. Now the last thing that you really need to do is you need to make Gidget furry. Because right now she's just not furry. So I'm, let's go around and make give Gidget some hair all around. Another thing you really need to do with Gidget is you need to shade with her. So I'm going to start with her face. I'm going to go underneath her jaw and from back here. And I'm going to shade off to the sides and the bottom. And then what you want to do is you want to come back here and shade on her tail because it's looped around. So if I shade her tail, and then that means this side's going to pop a little bit more. And then from back over here, we're going to go ahead and shade. And then underneath her, you need to go ahead and shade. 
And then off to the sides and front, you just need to get the shade just to give her a little bit more definition. Because she is mostly just this white prancing thing running around and stuff. But she's also, she's also a very furry dog. <laughs> And then I'm going to shade underneath her snout in just a little bit. And then I'm going to go around and just lightly smudge some of these lines. And there we are! There is Gidget from The Secret Life of Pets! What other pet would you like to draw? I'd like to at least get five of these tutorials in so we get to do two more tutorials. How about we do Duke next? Nobody wants to do Duke. <laughs> I keep seeing all these other comments for these other dogs that were in the show. So um, hopefully we can do Duke next week because he's super cute and I wish I had a big fluffy dog like him. And yes guys, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you all later. Bye!